Hey guys, ModsLink here with another tutorial for the PS Vita. So today I wanted to show you how to transfer files back and forth between your PS Vita and your computer. And to do this, uh, we use the Content Manager. So if you go into the Content Manager and you launch this, you can copy content or you can manage the content on the memory card. If you want to copy content, you can either connect to a PS3, a PC, or use the PS Plus online storage. So if you want to plug into a PC, you can either use a USB cable or you can go through Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead and choose USB cable here. Right now we're not plugged in. Before we do that, we need to download QCMA on our computer. We'll do that now. All right, so here on the computer, typically you would use the Content Manager Assistant, and this is Sony's official software to do this, to use the Content Manager. Uh, however, if you use this, and then you can't use Henkaku or Tai Henkaku anymore, because you will need to update your PS Vita up to firmware 3.63, which is not compatible with Henkaku or Tai Henkaku. So, in order to stay on firmware 3.60, which is exploitable, you need to use QCMA. So go to this website, which will be posted down in the video's description, and download uh, the version for your operating system. So this is compatible with Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X. Now, Windows users have been experiencing some USB driver issues, so I'll try and recreate that right now. I've already downloaded these files here, so I'll go ahead and set up QCMA. And we'll go through the normal setup, just clicking next, next, next. And this will install USB driver. And then we can run QCMA. So here we go, we've got it running and you will see a QCMA icon down here. Right click on it and go into settings and then you will see the folders where your PS Vita files are going to be located. Go into other, make sure these options are set up so offline mode should be checked. Ignore the file psp2.updatelist.xml folder. Uh, set this to latest, set this to FW 0.00, click OK. And now we'll plug in our PS Vita and see if it's detected. Alright, so that's so far so good. We'll go into PC, USB cable, and there we can see our Vita connected. Now some users here will experience a problem where this will connect and then disconnect, connect, disconnect and so forth and you won't be able to proceed. So in order to fix that, you need to go over to this website here which will also be down in the video's description and download this application. I've also got this downloaded already just to show you guys what to do. So run this application. Again, this is only if you have problems with your PS Vita uh, connecting and disconnecting. And then go up to options, list all devices, find your PS Vita type B. And your current driver will probably say win, win something or other, win USB. This is probably what it'll say for you. So you need to go down and set it as LIB USB K version 3.0.7.0, the one that I have installed, which is why I'm not experiencing problems. And then select this install driver and replace the driver. Now my computer is probably gonna lock up because I already have this installed, so it's just thinking I'm an idiot. Um, but for some of you guys, it should install right away, should take 
just a couple of seconds and then you can plug in your PS Vita and everything will work as normal. Again, that's just for the people that are having driver issues. If you're not having driver issues, then you can just go ahead and use QCMA as normal. If you wanted to, you could also just connect via Wi-Fi, which may be easier for some of you guys if for whatever reason the USB issue doesn't go away. So let me show you how to do that. So you just go ahead and open up the content manager, go to PC, select Wi-Fi, make sure you are connected to the same network as your computer and your computer should show up here. Then it'll display this and on your computer it will display this number here. So just type in that number that you're seeing on your computer. And then press on register and your PS Vita will register to your computer. It'll connect and now your computer will display the connection icon there. And now you can transfer files just like normal. As you can see here, it's not plugged in or anything. And then you can go ahead and make a backup. And this will copy all the contents from your PS Vita over to your computer for safekeeping. This way, if you, for some reason, brick the console or end up messing something up, end up losing your content, then you can have a backup on your computer which you can make with QCMA using a USB connection or just using Wi-Fi like this. Another issue that I've noticed is that sometimes it won't work if you're on Wi-Fi. So if you're on Wi-Fi, just hold the PS button and turn airplane mode on. And that should fix most of your problems. Um, and then one additional other issue is sometimes when you're using Tai Hinkaku, so if you're using uh, beta.hinkaku.xyz instead of just the normal go.hinkaku.xyz, uh, it just won't work. So if, if you experience that problem, then just go through and use uh, the normal go.hinkaku.xyz instead of the beta, and that should work. Although today I updated the Taihenkaku, there was a new release out today and that seems to have fixed that problem. But that is basically it for this tutorial. If you guys found that helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share the video. Consider subscribing as well for future tutorials such as this one and consider checking out some of these sponsors down in the video's description. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.